look at the image who is the character you see in the mirror is that a lion who is in front of the mirror a cat yes that is a cat so the cat is looking into her image in the mirror and the image she is getting is that of a lion what do you think about it the cat imagines herself to be a lion she wants to have the characteristics of a lion probably a lioness the cat wants to be as strong as the lion or the lioness when she imagines she's a lion she asks the question do i look good that is the reflective practice if i was a lion would i look better oh no maybe i don't look like a lion i need to change again a very good significant action in reflective practice because when i look into the mirror i find there is something lacking there i don't look like a lion or a lioness i'm not as strong as a lion but i want to be a lion so what do i do i need to think about it i think i need to change myself i think i need to change my image i think i need to develop some characteristics of being strong how can i change my image so it is a step wise process reflective practice do i look good how do i look is that right or wrong the first step towards reflective practice is my methodology correct is it useful is it making the learning aims possible are my students happy with it maybe maybe i need to change i think i need to change that is the second step i think i need to bring in more methodology i think i need to use more resources i think i need to improve my classroom management i think i need to be a better role model for my students i think i have to be a happy teacher okay look at the next step now how can i change my image how can i become a happy teacher let's work on that let's do some study on that let's make my resources more interesting for my students let me feel pleasure in my job let me be happy and satisfied in my work i must make an extra effort to make my lesson better tomorrow and when i will get a good appreciation for my students in the form of their learning i would be so happy i should try to do that so the first question is am i good or not the second is okay i need to change and the third is how to change all these three steps are significant steps of the stair to go up and be a good teacher the reflective process is based on these three steps to analyze to identify your strengths and weaknesses to work on your thinking skills and think about the ways what i need to do and then how i need to do those so how why and what these are the questions which play an important role when we need to do reflective practice and by answering all these three questions what why and how am i going to do that would bring us to be a successful and happy teacher